This is one of multiple Juno 3 lab videos. Now the last step is to enable ERGRP and verify connectivity between the routers in the topology. So on router 1, router ERGRP 100. I'm going to enable ERGRP in all interfaces and disable automatic summarization. Show IP ERGRP interfaces. ERGRP is enabled on the loopback of router 1 as well as the serial interfaces of the router. On router 2, router ERGRP 100, enable ERGRP in all interfaces and disable automatic summarization. I'll do something similar on router 3, router ERGRP 100. Network 000, no automatic summarization. And lastly, on router 4, router ERGRP 100, network, no order summary. So ERGRP is enabled on all routers. On router 1, show IP ERGRP neighbors. You can see that router 1 has three neighbor relationships, which is correct per our topology. Show IP route. Router 1 has routes to the loopbacks of router 2, 3, and 4. So it should be able to ping itself, which it can. Should be able to ping router 2, router 3, and router 4, which it can. So the loopbacks have been learnt through ERGRP. On router 2, we should have similar routes. So show IP route. Router 2 has learnt about the loopbacks of the other routers through ERGRP. Local loopback is directly connected, but other loopbacks have been learnt via ERGRP. It's also learnt, I'll just refresh this, it's also learnt about the other physical interfaces as well as the slash 32 networks through ERGRP. So ping 10.1.2.2, .2 .2, that's router 3, or router 4. That succeeds because the routes are available in the routing table. So let's have a look at the Wireshark captures. This is the link from router 1 to router 3. What I'll do is filter for ERGRP. Notice we see a hello message from 10.1.2.1 to a multicast address. And when we scroll down, we can see a hello message from router 3 to router 1 to the multicast address 2240010. So at layer 2, we're using PPP. At layer 3, it's IP version 4. Protocol number is 88. In other words, EIGRP. At layer 3, the protocol is EIGRP. Autonomous system number is 100. Software version is EIGRP 12.4. TLV is 1.2. We can also see update information. So various update information, such as the route that's being advertised. So there's 10.1.2.1 slash 32. Here's 3.0.0.0 slash 8 being advertised. Now this is before I enabled automatic summarization, so notice it's been summarized as a slash 8. And then further down, notice we see the slash 32 network being advertised by router 3. That was because I disabled automatic summarization. On the chap link we should see something similar. So there's router 1 advertising to the EIGRP multicast address. Protocol number is 88. Source is router 1. Destination is 2240010. You can see the autonomous system number. If we scroll down, we should see router 4 sending out a hello message. And there you go. And if we scroll down, we can see the routes that are being advertised. So this is router 1 advertising to router 4 about these networks. So as an example, this is an internal IP version 4 network. 
prefix length, destination, next hop. So the routes are being advertised to router four, including the loopback of router one, the loopback of router two, the loopback of router three. It's a point to point link, so next hop is kind of irrelevant. The next hop will be the device on the other side of the link, which is router one from router four's perspective. So we've successfully configured this network with PPP on one link, PPP PAP on another link, and PPP CHAP on the third link. We also enabled EIGRP and verified connectivity between all of the devices. We ran debug and show commands to verify what was taking place in the background, as well as use Wireshark captures to verify PPP negotiation and PPP options. The GNS3 topology is linked below this video. Make sure that you practice, for instance, for the CCNA exam using topologies such as these. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.